making the stupid decision to try to film a how I wash my hair video. It is currently, what time is it? It's currently like 11.33 on a Thursday and I gotta go to work in the morning, but I have plans on the weekend and I'm not trying to have my hair look all braided up. A lot of people ask me like, hey, like, products do you use like how do you do your hair whatever i look like a straight poodle i don't know why people want to know like my hair care routine if you like this video please like and subscribe let's get started okay so first i'm gonna take this out So the first product that I use is the Shea Moisture Co-Wash Conditioning Cleanser. And yes, I still wash my hair under the faucet of the tub because I'm old school like that. Um, Co-Wash is supposed to be better for your hair and strips it less than shampoo. So I first just wash my hair. After I wash my hair, I wring it out and leave it a little damp. And then I'll use the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask. And this deep conditioner is a real lifesaver. It's super thick and it really keeps all the moisture in my hair. And it really, really detangles it. It's grown really long and shown great results. Hey guys, just giving you a solid warning, like I make some really ugly freaking faces in this video, so sorry in advance. So once I'm done deep conditioning my entire head, I'll take a plastic bag from my kitchen, wrap it around my head, tie it, and then sit under the dryer. And yes, that old 90s contraption is a dryer. I'll set it to high and then I'll sit under the dryer for 15 minutes. When the 15 minutes is up, then I go back to the tub and I'll rinse the deep conditioner out. Make sure you use cool water when you're rinsing out the deep conditioner so it's not completely cleaning your entire head all over again because then what's the point of applying deep conditioner at all? So after I go back to looking like a wet dog, I grab some ponytail holders and then I start to section off my hair. Look, I'm not a hair guru. I just found something that works for me and I just kind of part my hair with my fingers so I'm not hurting my head. I'm very tender headed. After I section off the first part of my hair, I'll get the Cantu Argan Oil Leave-In Conditioner and I use this to help me detangle the rest of my hair while I'm combing it out. And so this is the first product that I use. Next, I'll grab the Camille Rose Moisture Milk, and this stuff really helps keep moisture in your hair. It's really good. I'll take this product, and then I'll apply it on top of the Argan Oil Leave-In Conditioner. Then to start detangling it, I use my wide tooth comb and comb from the edges all the way up to my root. This next step is very important. I'll take some black castor oil and I'll apply it on top of the products that I already applied. And what this does is this seals in the moisture. So the other products were used for detangling and for moisture, but this actually keeps the moisture inside and leaves it there for a while. Next, to smooth down the frizzy parts of my hair and just to keep everything sucked in and clean, I'll get some Eco Styler Gel and then I'll apply that to the root of my hair and the ends just to get everything nice and compact. So you guys see the products that I use in the order that I use them in. So after you get the gist, you can just start braiding. When you get to the end, I usually just take the product and then twist it around my finger and it'll be a nice little twist out at the end. And then you do this over your entire head. Once I've been doing my hair for a while, the other side of my head starts to get dry. So I'll take a nice spray bottle filled with water and then I'll just kind of spritz it just to get it damp so that the product slides onto my hair easier. When my whole head is finally covered with these really janky looking braids, so I take my um, silk head, head scarf. After I wrap up my head and sleep for the night, sometimes I'll let my braid stay in for a few days. But if I have something I really need to do and I don't wanna walk around with those nasty braids, I'll just take them out the next day and they tend to be dry. 
Okay, so it's the next morning and I took my braids out and this is what it looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you soon. Peace. <laughs>